<clears throat> Good morning. This is Lori from the Pink Girly Channel. I'm a little early, but I'm just getting set up here for a little felting session. And I'm going to move my coffee cup out of the way. Just went and got some water. So we'll see if anybody pops in. I've been wanting to do a little felting. And um, I thought I would start with a gnome, but as I was thinking about it this morning, I thought, well, let me do an owl. I haven't done an owl. So this is going to be new. And um, I'm going to show you what I've done in the past. I am not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. My sisters and I, good morning, Kathy. My sisters and I were looking for an art form that we could all do together. I have two sisters. I've always kind of been artsy, crafty kind of a gal. I'm the oldest. And then my sister Nancy, she studied to be a... Oh, you haven't? Oh, Beth felt all the time. You should watch some of her, um, some of her uh, videos, some of her replays. Um, and Nancy studied to be a horticulturist florist, so she's very clever with uh, floral design and those kinds of things. And she's interested in in some other stuff. And our younger sister Jackie, she's tried a couple of things, but she feels like she's not good at anything that has to do with you know using your hands. Good morning, Mitts. She's actually our family singer. So we were talking about some different things, and then we thought, well, let's try to felt. As it turns out, Jackie is really felt better than Nancy and I, and she really likes it. So she's done some cute stuff, but I am, good morning, Gail. I am by no stretch of the imagination, you know, what I would call a felter, okay? Uh, if you really want some inspiration, watch Serafina. She's on YouTube. And um, Sharon Lombard, who's in our community, she felt wonderful things. But I don't know if Sharon actually has videos or has a channel. I should, I should have probably checked that, but I didn't. But I know she has posted some stuff um, in some of our Facebook groups. So this what we've my sisters and i have done just really it's by the seat of our pants watching some videos and um just practicing really now this is dry felting no water involved um i don't i'm not an expert i don't know a lot about it i just know some basics you know wet felting you use warm water and soap and actually i want to cover some bars of soap with some wool and uh, I don't know if I'll do that on a live or not. I could probably be convinced, but this is dry felting. So no water involved, just your wool and your needles. And I'll just um, walk you through. I'm just going to jump in. And as those can, can join us, they can join us. So I tend to go overboard when I start doing anything. And as it turned out, I, I lucked into really a lot of wool for a very reasonable price. So I have some things that a, a beginner filter probably would never have. But this gal that I was working a shift with at the co-op, she had some wool that she wanted to sell. And then she threw in a couple of other things. Like, I think I got this from her. It's like a door. It's a door knob or a drawer knob no it's not a door handle it's too small so it's got to be a drawer knob and somebody fashioned this for her. and you can see it's got four needles in it so you can really go to town with this and this one i think i did purchase so this has got geez two four six eight eight needles but a lot of times you just use a single needle and then for my sisters and I, when we got started, I just took some muslin. You can find all this stuff online. I just took, doubled some muslin and filled it with rice. And then I double stitched all around. So you can lay a flat pieces on here and felt them. And then I purchased a little kit. 
and everything you needed really other than the wool came in this kit. I think I got all these needles separate. I don't I don't remember if they came in here. You know, there's like this thing. I have no idea even what this is for. Okay. And then there's finger guards and a pair of scissors. So you don't really need a lot to get started. Um, but it's nice to have the stuff if you can have it. Now this little basket here, see, I got a big piece of foam. It's it's I think it's like um would be a piece of um oh look, see that needle spin. I gotta replace that. Like upholstery foam. Good morning, Marty. Oh, and I guess I should probably mention good morning, Pam, while I'm thinking of it. Um, I originally thought today was talk like a pirate today, but I googled it and it's Monday. So oh, no pirate talk today, ladies. Sorry. <clears throat> and um, I will not be streaming Sunday morning. I will put uh, a notice on my community tab. And um, I, I had my days all mixed up. I knew I had a bingo event on the 17th, but I thought the 17th was today. Uh -oh. So I will be out of town and uh, we'll be headed back home sometime Sunday morning, but not in time, not in time to stream. So just just FYI on that. OK, so here are some things that I have felted in the past. I haven't felt it in a while, so and I've never felt it an owl. So. You know, take all this with a grain of salt, girls, but I'm going to try not to injure myself and just have fun. So <clears throat> if you want to felt flat, you can use cookie cutters as your shape. You just put your cookie cutter down and you get some of your wool. I really wish I had a small, my, well, this might work, and then I could cut it in half. Let's see how big my owl gets. I have a whole tub of cookie cutters somewhere. My husband was cleaning up the bedroom. And of course, he doesn't remember. And I'll show you in a little bit. You just take some wool, you pull it, you know, you lay it down. And then you would take your cookie cutter shape on top of your your wool and you just up oh, wait a minute i'm out of screen and you just start stabbing your wool and then you can add more make it as thick as you like and um so you can do different shapes so of course they're flat so this one i didn't do very thick this is a very thin heart i did this little hand i was just messing around an arrow and this little lame flower, the stem's not too great. I'll show you something that is great though. If I can, oh, where did I put my journey? As most of you will know, journey sent me a little felted piece. Hold on, let me see if I can unearth it here without making too big of a mess. I just, I just remembered she sent me this little. I put it on my one journal because it's just, oh my gosh, it's just so darling. Here we go. I got it. I got it. Let's see here. Hi, Angie. <clears throat> this is what journey. I'm assuming Journey felt a dime. Isn't that adorable? So she did a bird shape, a circle, and then a couple little petals and did a darling little. So, I mean, there are tons of things you can do with felting, which, you know, you don't have to be at the level of, say, Sharon Lombard or this gal, Serafina. Serafina, if you want to be amazed, um, she's incredible. Okay, so then I was 
obviously trying to do a little she piece in progress. I guess I got weary. You know, it does, if you have some arm or wrist issues, you know, you kind of have to take it easy because it can, it can uh, bother you. I've, with a fibromyalgia, a repetitive motion a lot of times will cause me uh, to be in pain uh, for several days. So that's why I kind of uh, have put this somewhat on the back burner. And then I was trying gnomes and trying to do my own felted hat. Now this, these guys are just okay, but the hat was a little challenging to get a big enough piece so I could get, you know, a nice cone. I know, cute bird, right? Now I'm hoping, I took my nails off. I'm hoping that I don't have any rough spots that are going to cause my fingers to pick. So here's another gnome. These guys are, you know, not, not too great, but I mean, they're, they're cute. They're cute. I could have taken my time a little bit more. And then I started to do this kind of a gnome and I'm probably going to do um, him sometime in a live. So this is just a little stump, really like a little squatty piece and then fell to the nose. And then this is just some curly uh, is my camera down too low? Let me bring it up a little bit. Um, this is some curly wool. I put some regular, you know, straight wool underneath. Oh, you did, Pam? The, yeah, there should be enough in there for you to get started on something to see if you like it, you know. So if you're on the fence, I mean, wool is not cheap. Um, but if you're on the fence and you think you might like to learn it, at least that little kit, you know, will give you what you need to get started. And then this is just a kid's sock. Uh, I use socks to dress my, um, light bulbs. And so I thought, well, let me put a sock on instead of trying to make a whole hat. But when I first got started, of course, like I said, I go overboard. I saw these pumpkins and I really wanted to do the pumpkins. And I guess it was Serafina. Uh, that I followed along. And so this is one of my pumpkins. Okay. I'm going to tell you what my granddaughter would say when she was little. And take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. Okay. And then this guy. So if you follow the instructions, you know, um, step by step, it's really not too hard to do this. You know, you twist your wool, you felt a little, and then it's just so easy to see. See, like this leaf, you can leave that free if you want. But if you want to tack it down, all you do is just stick it a little bit and it, you know, it attaches down. It's like instant glue, right? So I don't have a pattern. I don't have a recipe for an owl. I'm just going to wing it. Okay. Thank you, girls. All right. So I'm going to see how I make out. I have my glasses to see the computer on so I can read chat. Uh, I think I'll be okay felting without um, needing my readers, but we'll see how it goes. So I just pulled out some roving. Roving is wool that is, um, I'm guessing, I, I, you know, I didn't do a lot of research, okay? And like I said, I, I picked up and learned some stuff earlier on when I first started to felt, but I, I haven't felt it in, oh my gosh, probably over a year, okay? I just, I just have too much on my plate. And of course, you know, I, I, I do it my, to myself. Good morning, Dana. Nice to see you. So, so roving from what I understand is just maybe not combed or not as refined. And it's kind of like a base type of um, wool. Ah, Mitzi got my joke. Oh my gosh. I feel like my camera's popping in and out and I know, I know my, my autofocus is off. So I'm not sure what I could put on my table. I don't know if that little thing will help it focus or not. Let's see if that works. 
I have a couple of stamps here. Maybe if I put the stamps, will that help? I don't know. I've got to figure that out. Okay. So from what I remember, you take a piece of roving. If you want to just make the center or something to start to work around, you just take your roving and you roll it as tight as you can and you just start felting it. I'm going to use a single needle. And I don't know if I can remember how to. Oh, yeah. Okay. So this, this is bent. So I'm going to put another needle in here. This might be easier for my hand. And really, you can. Okay, and just going to be working, trying to get things done. You know how that is. Yes, I do, baby girl. Okay, not a problem. And welcome, welcome to everyone who's coming in. All right, so I just have this big, long piece of roving. And I'm just going to start rolling it. Good morning, April. Nice to see you. Okay, I'm just going to start rolling it. And I'm just going to roll it as tight as I can. I don't know what size this owl is going to end up being. So we're just going to start. And I might have to add some to it. Now, I like to use the roving when I'm doing something like a gnome or say the owl, really anything, because this is cheaper and your other wool with your colors is a lot more expensive. So to do a whole piece like this, where the whole body, like say, you know, if this whole body was like the colored uh, types of wool would be very expensive. No, I created the felt kit at Keisha's um, April. So this is just some of my, my um, felting stash. But in that kit, I provide you with some roving and some different colors of wool and two needles to get you started. So it's kind of like, just like I'm rolling up a cigar. Okay, so now you have this loose edge and this is where I'm going to start felting. Now it really is better if you felt on a surface, especially when you're first learning, because these needles are longer than you think they are. And you think you might be okay and inevitably you're going to stick yourself. So I'm going to use this piece of foam. And this loose edge here that I've started with, I'm just going to start stabbing it in and out. Now, you don't have to have the handle. You can use a felting needle like this. Now, like I said, the one kit I bought, you do have you know, protection for your fingers. And then all you do is just start stabbing it. Now, the more that you stab, because the needle is barbed, it goes in, it grabs the fibers, and it causes the fibers to interact with each other, right? And inter like interlink. And so when you start stabbing it, it starts to stiffen up and get tighter and tighter. Now, the more you stab it, the tighter it's going to get. Now, I don't know if you can see, like it's puffy here, but already just that little bit, it's starting to flatten out. Good morning, Vanessa. So I'm just moving it around now because I want to try to make a cylinder type shape. I don't know what this little owl is going to end up looking like. Now I'm going to put him on his on his end. Good morning, Janet Nash. Janet Nash, I still have happy mail to send to you. I've been a naughty, naughty girl. Well, I, one thing is I want to make sure I have an envelope that's sturdy enough to carry 
when I'm sending you all that distance, but I haven't been to the post office. There's the birthday girl. Good morning, Carol. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Carol. A magical birthday to you. Oh, how do you like that little rendition? And there's our little Barbara chicken pot pie. Barbara, <clears throat> I googled and it says that talk like a pirate day is Monday the 19th. So I'm not talking like a pirate. Now I have to make sure that I stop talking when I look at the screen. <clears throat> So I don't stab myself. Angie will be really upset with me. See, like here you can see a little a little bit of darkness. See, that's the roving. A lot of times there'll be some extra jazz in your roving. See, I just did it. I, I went through and got my thumb. Not not hard. I haven't ever really drawn blood. But you certainly could, especially once you get going and you kind of forget. So I'm trying to to um, felt down all this fluffiness. So I think that's a pretty good size for an owl. But now I'm thinking, as I felt, and I'm just thinking about the shape of an owl. He's not really shaped straight up and down like that, correct? Well, I don't want to upset you anymore, Anch. Got to work past that, being upset. Get yourself calmed down. So I'm thinking, and I want him to sit up flat. So I want him to have a flat bottom. I'm just going to felt this down. Now, if you want uh, to invest and get something, you know, like this, that has more than one needle. And these, this is probably more for a bigger project, but you can really go to town and felt very quickly with more than one needle. My sister Jackie has one. I think it's got maybe three needles on it. And that's really good. I mean, this this has the four, so that's not bad. This one's like major. It's got eight. And they're different size needles, uh, medium, large, small. I'm not, I, you know, I don't know what all those are for. But I know if you have any um, questions with felting, felting, I'm sure either Beth Schuler. She knows more than I do, or um, Sharon Lombard I would be happy to answer any questions, you know, like really intricate felting questions. See, now already I can feel how solid this is getting. So now I'm thinking I want to start building around. Now, like I said before, your colored wool is more expensive. And so to me, in my mind, it makes sense to do all your shaping and bodybuilding, if you will. Bodybuilding. Uh, with your roving. So now here's a little extra piece that I have. So I want my owl. Let's think of an owl. I want them to kind of come. Uh, yeah, they're fatter at the bottom. So I'm just going to add on this little piece of roving. I'm just going to wrap it around. You know, it's nice and flat. I don't have it bumpy. Maybe I should show you that. So this, is, this piece was pretty flat. I'll pull another piece of roving off and show you. So this is pretty flat, right? And then I just want, and I don't, well, let me take some of this off. 
So I'm just going to wrap it around and I'm going to start building up the lower bottom part of this owl. Give him a little more weight around his bottom. And then I can add on a little more. And I'll start building that up. Now, right now he's going to be a flathead, so I'm not sure how I'm going to cause him not to be a flathead, but we'll we'll see. Oh, I, I just had a thought. I know what I could do. I know what I could do. I can make a ball and put a ball on top. It's so you can see already just that little bit of felt that I added around the bottom. It's starting to change the shape. This is not like coloring. This is not a quick thing. You're building up layers. Of course, it depends on what you're doing too, right? Um, now, my little gnome, for those who maybe have just come in, he's just a little squatty piece of roving that I covered. In fact, I'm going to use the same kind of yarn for my owl. I mean, uh, wool. And uh, I did a little nose. And this, you just, you know, it's already the way it is. You just felt it on. And then, like, like I said, I popped on um, a sock. Okay. So there's not much as far as shape for him. All right. So now I'm going to pull out some more roving I have here. Let's see here. I'm not sure that that's roving. That might be white. Let me get another. Put some roving in here. So I hope everyone's doing well. There's Aunt Beck. Good morning. Good morning. Let's take this out. So, and, and a lot of times the wool that I've purchased just comes in a big lump like this, like a like a rope kind of a thing. They tell you not to cut it. They tell you to pull it. Sometimes it's hard to pull. And so you just take it and you just give it a little tug. Like that. It comes a little part fairly easy most times. And then I'm just going to flatten. Now, because he's small and I still want some more around the bottom, I'm just going to flatten this piece out and just start to tug it and it'll come apart. Uh, I don't want, like, I don't want to put on a big wad like that. I want to put it on uh, thin and just build up thin layers. And uh, you might be noticing, like, see, there's little bits of junk and stuff in the roving. So I'm just, and when you add your wool, you want to just give it a little tug. And put it on. No, I don't want that guy. That's uh, using a big thing like this on a small piece is an accident waiting to happen because I don't have that much surface that I need to felt. You know what I mean? So you just keep stabbing it all which ways. And then once you get it the shape you want, you can go on to your next step. And I think I need to have them a little heavier on the bottom still. But when I make a ball to put on top of his head, where do you see how how easily, you know, it attaches? So I'm going to flatten this next piece out. Now, I'm just kind of looking at chat, hit or miss. If you have a question for me that I can answer, I certainly will. But uh, if you could put it in caps, that's better because I'm really trying to pay attention and not stab myself. I 
and really like to do these. <clears throat> I follow the step by step, and I did this when I first started. So I'm not saying this isn't difficult because hers looked way better than mine, but you can do something cute. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? You know what I mean, girls? And now that a few more of you are in here, I'm going to, again, say I won't be streaming Sunday morning. I had my dates mixed. Well, I had the dates right. I just had the days mixed up. I have a, a bingo event as some of the girls I was in. <laughs> okay, this is how this is how silly I am. Thanks, Carol. <clears throat> I was in Anne's uh, open craft room yesterday, and I told the girls I had to uh, call my neighbor, and um, I was going to do something else. I forget. Anyway, I put myself on mute. Uh -huh. What I did was turn my sound off. I didn't put myself on mute, and they heard me talking to my neighbor. Anywho, I'm headed over to Pennsylvania tomorrow. I thought it was today. <clears throat> I knew the event was the 17th, but I thought the 17th was Friday. Uh, I'm a struggle. So I'm staying over because it's late, and then I'm going to stop and see my mom on my way back. So uh, I won't be back early enough to do my stream. All right, so I can always continue to add. Let's start the head. So I'm going to do the same thing that I did earlier. I'm going to take a piece of roving. Uh, now this might be, hey, Joni, good morning. Oh, thank you, Marnie, for putting Becky's channel in. I always forget that. You could put Pam's in too and uh, Kathy's. And uh, Joni has a channel, and Janet, we'll, we'll keep you busy, Marty. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make the same type of thing as I did before. I'm going to start rolling it. This is going to be a little um, more fiddly because I want it to be a kind of a round shape. So I'm going to try to roll it really tight. Tuck in my little ends. And I have to think about it a little differently because I really want it to kind of be round. So I'm going to start bringing in, I'm going to start folding my ends in. So for those of you that are watching the replay, all these different um, channels that Marty's putting in for me are channels of other gals in our community that do really cool stuff. So you want to make sure you check in on their channels and subscribe. I hope I didn't miss anybody. Oh, Carol. Carol has a channel. Uh, did I miss anybody else, Barbara and Marty? Okay, so this is kind of looking like an egg. So any, any little loose bits, I'm just stabbing it. And helping those fibers to lock together. So I guess it really doesn't have to be super round. All right. Now this is uh, without any kind of a pattern, folks. This is, um, like I said, I'm just winging it. Just winging it. Just winging it. 
The thing about felting is you don't need glue. You just keep moving your wool, your roving, and keep stabbing it so it tightens up. And the tighter you wind your beginning piece, you know, I, the nicer, it'll have a nicer feel for you. It'll be a little more firm and it won't um, be real soft and squishy, which I think that's what you, you, you want to go for. Just swing it. Okay. So this isn't super round, but I don't think it real. Oh, yes, Vanessa. Oh, thanks, Marty. <clears throat> See, it's so hard. And it's so hard to remember everybody that's got a channel. And gosh, if I, if I not. If I don't recognize you or I don't remember, it's really not intentional. It's just, a, just, it's difficult to remember everything, especially when you're working on something. Okay, I know right now he kind of, Marty, I think he did pretty good. I wasn't really watching all that closely, but I think he probably got mostly everybody, right? You got Janet Nash, you got Becky, Vanessa, Pam, Joni, Kathy. Did you get Kathy? Calico Kate. Um, all right, so now I'm going to try to attach. I don't know if Dana just, I think Dana's got a channel. Don't you, Dana? I think Dana's got a channel. Little Miss Dana Dana. Okay. So now I'm going to just hold this head on here and I'm going to just start stabbing the wall. There you go. Scrappy girl. Dana Yates. She's got a channel. Thanks, Dana. So we can pop her in too. Okay. So let's uh, just start to felt this on and all I'm going to do is start stabbing it where it joins oh and you don't have a channel oh yeah Joni we got Joni right and Carol yeah once we um okay Carol once we start stabbing that see it just attaches those fibers start interlocking and it starts to attach so this looks like uh, um, headless the headless Nick on uh, Harry Potter. <laughs> so we just want to make sure we go around and attach this. See, and then as I continue to felt this down and I can start felting the side of my owl and start tight tightening this up so it starts to join. And then we'll see how our shape looks and then we'll add wool accordingly. Now I'm sure there's a pattern. Laura, you have to have a channel to be on YouTube. Well, you, you know what I mean. You, you know what I mean, Andrew.
All right, so we don't have a smooth. I'm thinking this guy's going to need a scarf. Scarf. I know, it looks like a snowman. It'll be a snow owl. All right, so I'm going to try to felt this down a little bit. Okay, so while you're doing stuff like this, oh, there you go. Janet and I thinking alike. Um, when you're streaming and you've got folks watching you and you're doing something like this, this is when you keep thinking to yourself, how bored are they? All you're doing is stabbing wall. Okay, so he looks a little rough. He looks like uh, what's his name putting together? Uh, who is the monster? The monster mush. Oh my gosh, I can see his Frankenstein. Looks like Frankenstein's buddy was put together by who put Frankenstein together? Okay. So I'm just going to come around the neck a little bit more. You know what? I should, could probably speed this up. I'm keeping my fingers back. But when I first started to do this, it really did amaze me how quickly. I mean, if I really ripped it, I could get it off because I haven't felted it as much as it needs to be felted. I'm kind of trying to go a little quicker than you normally would if you were doing this by yourself and you had plenty of time but it's on there so now to build the shape of the owl a little bit more i'm going to add some more roving where i've added the head on and try to make that more of a smooth um connection to get a better owl shape. So, I, oh, I do have a little piece here. So I'm gonna pull this in half again. Yeah, you can see I've got a little bit of a ridge there. Right here, it's not too terribly bad, but I want it to be, so I'm gonna take a thinner piece of this. I know, you could make a whole owl family would be cute. So now I'm just going to wrap this around like I want him to have a scarf. And then I'm going to see that looks a little better. So I'm going to felt that down. I was trying to think of something I could use uh, for a little, like I don't have a small cookie cutter. I need a little kind of a, a little round open ring. Um, oh, I wonder if this would, no, that's too big. I need something really small because I get a little anal about things. Oh, I should have eaten. I hope you're eating something good. Tell me something good. Tell me, tell me, tell me something good. Okay. Take your time. Okay. After a while, when it starts to take shape and you kind of see a coffee roll and lovely, you know, you kind of feel bad stabbing it after a while. Here's a little, needs a little, little more. A little more 
wool right here on the thinking. It's got a little bit of the indentation. Very nice, Ange. All right, now just starting. The other thing is, too, now I've only had one needle break, but that doesn't mean that they don't break more often. It just could mean I don't felt that often, right? So uh, just be aware of that because the tips are thin and they're barbed, the needles, you know, so just be careful. They can snap very easily. Let's see. All right. So what? I, hey, Jen. Good morning. Nice to see you. She's a little, a little bit crooked. There's a little piece of something, something in there. And then I'm just checking to see where he's fluffy because I want him to be fairly solid. And I want to make sure he... I haven't really felt it that quick, that much, Kathy, to know. But, I, I you know, they seem pretty... I've used these for a while. But, see, I don't do it a lot. So I think it might depend on how much you felt and how many projects you do. But I broke one. This one, I don't know how this one got bent. I just saw it when I got my stuff out. This one got bent. And um, now my sister Jackie, I think, I think they stay pretty sharp for quite a while. And then there too, you know, if you check the prices of them, some of them may be a better quality. I just bought a quantity um, because I didn't know. And then I was able to put those little kits together for the market. I thought, well, this might be something different. And, you know, if you want to get started or try it, um, you can, you can spend, you can drop quite a bit of change, you know, trying if you want to get a couple different colors and such, you know. Barbara says, time, 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 we, what's become of me? I look around for my, I don't know, if I don't know that song. I'm assuming that's a song, maybe it's a poem. Barbara, you are amazing. There's Clint, I didn't see Clint come in. Hi, Clint. Oh, there he is. Hello, hello. All right, so let me just get a little more done around the bottom. I'm going to switch to my four needle. Now, it's not going to be perfect all the way around. I'm trying now I'm looking for the best side. Oh, thanks, Marty. Marty, she put in Clint's channel. Okay. <laughs> Trying to change Gail's earworm. Oh, that's right, Kathy. You did. And you've been pretty good, right? I know some things they think, oh, I can't watch it. I can't watch it. I don't need to, I don't need to start anything else. I kind of feel like I need another little piece right there, but if I leave that a little, if I make this the front and that's, see, it's, you probably can't tell. It comes down a little bit like that. I could put some ears there this might be a good front all right so i'm gonna move on so i'm thinking i need a patch of color here 
to make the owl, you know how they usually have a tummy that has a different color. So I have a lot of um, of this this uh, kind of heathery brown color. I mean, a lot. This girl that sold me, you can't believe the amount of roving and wool she sold me for a very reasonable price. And this, this is just the tip of the iceberg. Oh, actually, you know what? That's a felted bit that I already started. So, um, let's see. Janet was saying maybe a Halloween owl. I don't know if I have too much. Maybe a uh, per see, I don't think I have too much in the way of oranges. That's when I started doing the pumpkins. Um, can you just unravel wool yarn? You know what, Jen? That's a good question. Um, you probably could and comb it. Now, I have um, knitted with wool and then felted it in the washing machine, you know, to make like a felted hat. Let's put this guy up here. Well, I've got to dig in my, my bin here. Um, I've done handbags, you know, where you, you knit in wool. And um, yeah, you'd have to do a bunch of it. I mean, it would it would take a lot of work. But you might be able to just take it and felt it, you know, cut pieces of it and lay it together and felt it all together. You know? All right, let's see. Oh, here's some orange. I've got a little bit of orange here. Let's see. So I'm going to just, this is what's in my mind. I'm just going to do the little front. Oh, thanks, guys. Um, if I had thought about it, Jen, I could have pulled out some wool yarn and we could have tried that, but. I've got my yarn all packed away in my in a chest, and um, it wouldn't be an easy get to. Okay, so I have another. This little this is really a yummy, yummy color. Okay, Janet, enjoy. Tell her hello. And Kathy says I bought wool sweaters at thrift stores. And washed for felt to make things. So, yeah, that's a cool idea, right? Because you know, if you throw anything wool in your washing machine, it's it it seizes up. Yeah, well, that's a good question. I just um, don't really have a good answer for you. All right, so I'm going to start with uh, small layers. And I'm going to try it this way. Now, I don't have a picture of an owl in front of me either. So this is, he's really not, you know what? I really want him to be fatter around the bottom, guys. Just, you know what? I'm just going to, I'm going to add more roving on the bottom. It doesn't take that long to fill, to fill it. I just really want them to be, or her, or whoever, to be really heavy bottomed. And welcome, welcome to anybody and all who have come in. I'm um, just going to say again, I won't be streaming Sunday morning. I'll be in Pennsylvania and not back in time. I got my days of the week all messed up. And so I'm just smoothing that around. Now, if you um, 
you know, start looking this up on the internet if you haven't ever. And you go to that Serafina's website. Oh my gosh. The thing she does. Yeah, but you kind of, everybody's going to stab themselves. Okay. Even the people that are experts at this, you get a little distracted or whatever, you're going to end up stabbing yourself. But it's usually, you know, not too bad. And you just have to be conscious to keep your hand back. And the needle is pretty long. So, I mean, it goes, sometimes it goes through, you know, talking and felting is really not a great idea. I got to say. <laughs> oh, welcome back, Angie. And uh, they do have, like I showed you the when I first started in that kit, they have these big leather things that you can stick on your fingers I, I just don't work well with stuff on my hands and so this is just not getting as chubby as i wanted around the bottom okay i'm going to do this last two little bits of yarn see i keep calling it yarn it's not yarn it's um wool now my sisters um had decided they wanted to check out well this is how the story goes so we were, we had started felting and uh, my sister nancy has a good friend diane her and diane's son was getting married and uh the gal he was marrying loves llamas so he went he took her to a llama farm in jersey and proposed to her. They were walking the llamas and they walked two llamas and he proposed, I believe that's how the story goes. And I know, well, the, yeah, thimble, yeah. I just like rubber gloves, you know, to keep your hands from being messy with paint and ink and stuff. So <clears throat> my sister thought it would be a great idea to go to the to the llama farm and see if the lady had any of their wool of the two llamas that they walked and then she would felt them something as as a gift from the two llamas that they walked so of course then covid hit so the lady um that has the farm Oh, that's cool, Gail. <clears throat> and, um, but she said she would allow us to come. But she wasn't really doing tours or, you know, walking the llamas. And uh, so we picked a day to go. Turns out the farm is only about a half an hour from where I live. So my sisters came over and we headed off to the farm. And, um. Uh, this lady, this lady was just, she was delightful. She was just delightful. And uh, she has seven, I think, llamas. And uh, she took us in. <clears throat> she let us go into the barn. She said, well, do you want to meet them? Do you want to go in and pet them? So we went in and we petted them. And she told us, now, don't be... Don't be alarmed if this one, and I forget their names now, um, puts his head to your head. That that means he he's he's hugging you. So the one llama was tipping his head into our heads. <laughs> and then she was showing us how she grooms them. And, you know, she was telling us different things. And uh, then she took us into the house. And uh, we were able to purchase some wool. And my sister Nancy was able to get the wool she needed from the two llamas that her uh, friend's son had walked. So that was really cool. But I was, you know, I was thinking about alpaca wool and stuff, you know, not so much um, llamas. But 
Now this lady, she knows, she knows her stuff for sure. I missed, I missed the romantic story. Sorry. And she can't use them, but she just collects them. That's cool. And when I was working in the co-op one shift, a fella came in because we have some antiques and vintage stuff up on the upper floor. And this fella came in, he was looking for vintage and antique thimbles. He had a collection. All right. Okay. This is going to have to do. See, it takes a while to build it up. So we've got a little more of a shape. So that's good. I know, right, Gail? Good die for alpaca wool. Well, I went to, um, last October, I went with my sister and my niece, my one niece, to um, Rhinebeck, New York. And um, they have a sheep and wool festival. Okay, so I'm just putting a little triangle of this orange to get me started. Uh, sheep and wool festival and the one thing I wanted to get was alpaca which I did and uh, I knitted my myself up a, like a cow but this was so itchy for me I could I can't wear it I just gave it to my um oh I'm making an owl Jen Oh, 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 that's, I'm sorry to hear that, Marty. Okay. But I've, I've had other um, alpaca that I've touched, like in the stores and stuff, and it doesn't feel that itchy so I don't know it was beautiful but I gave it to my niece because she can use it all right so there's the start so I'm gonna take another little bit kind of pull it apart and flatten it And as I'm adding it on, I'm going to try to make it more the shape of what we would think, uh, you know, an owl's tummy would be. See, now you'll notice that I'm using a lot less of the wool. You know, the wool with the colors. Of course, you can get it natural, too, where it's not dyed. Uh, but it's comb combed and there's no you know, junk or anything in it. And it's nicer to work with, for sure. And um, that's why it costs more. So you can see the little pokey marks, but we'll see once, once you get done doing that, they'll disappear. It's a little lopsided. Now I'm going to bring the other stuff around this, right? So, sorry, Mr. Sorry, Mr. Pumpkin. Hey, Kimberly. Good morning. Okay. Now, if you're wondering where to purchase wool, of course, you can Google it. And uh, Etsy is a great place to pick up a lot of wool. Now, this I probably could have. Oh, well, maybe I'll maybe I'll put a little bit over here in this corner. Happy Friday.
so my sisters and I and uh, our friend Joyce, and Joyce is like a sister to us, are going to a charity designer handbag bingo event tomorrow. Hey, Jill. Nice to see you. Good morning. So, I told my sisters I was going to practice screaming bingo. I hope I do better in person than I do online. Now, I can always add more orange in here. So, we're going to put that aside and I'm going to start doing the his head over here is a little a little lopsided i try to just this just i feel like i'm stabbing its brain <sighs> i know it's fun to go but it's even more fun i suspect if you win Actually, I want another set of um, color pencils. I hope I win some money. <laughs> I mean, it's just you think you you think you know all there is out there to buy and get, and say like in one genre of art, and there's like tons of stuff I don't even know about. I mean, it's just crazy. Okay. So you might have thought I was joking when I said I have a lot of the Heather Brown wool. I am not. So I purchased this plus a huge, she gave me a huge tub of, of roving and some good white wool and like I said, that at least one, if not both of those, um, holder, you know, handles. I don't even know what you call it that holds your needles for a really, really great price. <clears throat> I know, right? It's huge, huge. Okay, so all I'm going to do is take my heather and start wrapping it around like I did the others, but now I want to make sure I don't cover um, my orange. So I'm just pulling it apart like I did before. Let's see, that has a little, I might have picked up some stuff in my tub. So I want to kind of, you know, eyeball that and it's still just the same process and then uh, I don't want it to be too thin I, I don't want to see any of that white roving so I just tack that down now I'm going to take the rest of this and kind of like I'm doing a comb over oh I should have measured I could have made that just perfect And I'm just going to like, it's almost like you tack it down in spots, right? So I'm going to start popping that in and tacking that down. And like I said, I don't have the pattern. This is just, you know, what I have in my brain. To do a little owl. How am I on time? Okay, I still have some time.
Yeah, when you go to uh, bingo halls that allow that, it's tough. Now, here in our community, they play bingo, I think, every other Friday night. Of course, you're not allowed to smoke or drink there. And it's a whole bunch of old people for the most part, really. I have to remember to get my daubers out. So, But we'll have fun. Um, my friend Joyce is decorating the table. We're taking our snacks. You know, we should have a really good time. We always laugh a lot. I was telling the girls, uh, I forget when, that the last, the last one I went to, one man won six handbags. Six. Okay, so I've got pretty good coverage. You can see a little bit of the white there. So now I'm going to start covering his head. And again, I'm just pulling off a little bit of the wool. Let's see. Let's wrap it this way. And I'm just going to tack it down right there. And you don't really need this handle either. Well, it depends on your hands. And if you can see like I have, this is how they come. They come with this little like bent end. So that can hook into a holder. But it's it's enough to hold it on hold hold the needle too. You don't have to have all the bells and whistles. Because you might decide you don't like it. You know. Give it wispy eyebrows. Oh, sheesh. That might be beyond my pay grade. But it's a great idea. We'll see what we can do. Uh, yeah, smoking can be tough. And... Um, my mother-in-law, she was an advocate for playing the bingo and uh, a lot of folks there, you know, smoked as well. She was exposed. Um, all right, so I'm just wrapping it around and I'm tacking it down. Now he looks like, he does look like a snowman with a scarf, doesn't he? Okay, so I need some ideas of what I might have that's a circle that I could use small to do like the background for owl eyes. Because I don't have a cookie, I don't have a cookie cutter that's small. Okay. Now I'm just going to keep wrapping this head. And I'm just trying to do I think they would be too small, Gail. 
and um, they're kind of like a long tube. And I don't know that I, I think I want it to be like the size of maybe like a, um, like a dime. You know? All right, gals, let's, let's, I know a lot of um, times we have health issues and things in our families that are difficult. And I'll be happy to pray for anybody if you want to just message me privately. But I really kind of want to keep this stream upbeat in a place where we can come and relax and just do talk art things. If we could do that, I'd appreciate it. All right, let's see here. All right, I'm just going to add some more thin layers here. Now he looks like Now, I was thinking about trying to make a 3D beak rather than a flat beak. So I'm trying to think about that, too. Oh, I just thought of something I might have, girls. My husband had some kind of packaging when he was working. I don't know what they, they had ordered, but all these plastic discs. Oh, what did I do with those? Oh, gosh. Yeah, we it, it's, it, it can be tough. I understand the family things, but I'm telling you guys, really, truly, you can, um, uh, you can find me on Instagram, send me a private message or Facebook. I would be happy to pray with you, to pray for you. Um, but sometimes it just gets a little, um, a little too heavy. I think for our art time. Okay, so now he's still not looking like an owl. This may, may be an epic. Yeah, I was going to do buttons, Gail, but you know how like the an owl has like those those different colored le uh, leaves <laughs> of feathers that make those rounds, big round circles. And then they've got like the little beady eye. I was thinking about like the round circle. If I can remember, I had a unit that sat next to me here and I, I um, dismantled that and moved everything. And those plastic circles, I think would be perfect. I always have to sit on a, a tennis ball. That's all I'm going to say about that. All right. Now, we've still got a little bald spot there. And, of course, we've got the bottom of them. So let's take care of that bald spot. I'm kind of layering that a little bit. I don't know if that's a good idea. I mean, I don't know how Halloween-y he looks. I guess I could have done black. I could make him like a crazy owl with like some wild hair, huh? So this is covering up pretty good. Is the birthday girl still here, Carol? Do you have any plans for today? Okay, now I'm going to just stab his face. Barbara says, this little owl reminds me of that penis cartoon of the kitty who always had time. Yes. <laughs> Pig pen. Pig pen. I know I put those round, plastic round circle things in a great place. A brilliant place, I'm sure. Or if I had, oh, guys, 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 guys. See, this, this is too big. But 
That's an idea too, right? Hold on. Well, see, like I could do a flat piece and cut it, but see, I know myself, I'm too anal. I would not be able to cut the circle perfect enough, but boy, that's really pretty close. I wonder about the inside of a, of, um, like, you know, ribbon. Man. Okay, so now I'm going to take some, just doing the same thing. And I'm going to wrap. <laughs> going to wrap the, and you can go all which ways, you know. A circle die. <gasps> Jen, I think you've got it. I think you've got it, girl. What did I do with them? What did I do with my dyes? Ooh, Jen, Jen, Jen. Yes. Now that's really, um, you know, something with a, a taller edge, I think is easier, but that certainly I think is going to work. All right. Okay, that's a great idea. I think I just put them all in. Um, I just put them all in a binder. So, well, I say all. I think I put them all in a binder. Oh, I cannot wait till I get to the place where I've got everything in its new spot. And... Um, I can start to learn where I put things. <laughs> She's a funny girl, isn't she, that Lori? <laughs> okay. Now, this really could be felted down more. But see, when I did this diamond cookie cutter I'm thinking that would be big enough for a wing I could do the diamond right what color wing should I do should I do the same color wings come on let's brainstorm together what color wings that's a little light right here too oh we got trouble Right here in River City. The capital T that rhymes with P and that stands for fool. Trouble, 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 trouble. There we go. Okay. He's more, more looks like a bowling pin. Oh, I have, I don't need, I'm going to do wool, not the roving. And I have little bits of everything. Here are some pastels. And so pick a color. <laughs> I even have one. I used to have a little, I did a little hummingbird, but I don't know where I put him. I had to have this because this has a little sparkle in it, and this is blended. But I don't know that that's really how, oh, bye, Jen, have a great day. Audition some of the colors. Ooh. That's an idea, Barbara. All right, let me pull out a few. All right, so remember his tell me, not that, that means anything. His tell me is, hey, there's Tina. Hello. Good morning. All right, so we have a lovely pink. Pink. 
getting getting we have some royal blue what I would call royal blue of course I'm gonna have to put a green in the mix green now, Barbara, you're going to have to keep track of this because what people vote, because I I don't want to stab myself. This is more of, I don't think there's enough of this to do away. Hold on, let's see what else have I got in here. We've got um, like a light teal. And okay, let's pick out one more color here. I have, oh, we need a lavender. Let's see. Let's put, uh, oh gosh, there's two purples. I have two purples. All right, so Barb's ready. So make your choice, and then we'll go if we, if we can possibly get a majority. I don't know. It's mostly being women. Might be difficult. Okay. So you're voting on a color for the wings. I'm going to try to get a little definition in the neck here. And I need a little bit more. So I'm just going to work away here while you vote. All right, Ange, have a good snooze. Oh, how lovely, Marty. Okay. And he's nice and he feels nice and solid. Who did there? Chris. Hello, Chris. Oh, Chris, I don't think I know you, and I missed. I, I just saw you're coming from Dee Dee's. Hold on, let me go back, please. I don't want to uh, overlook Chris. Uh, Chris says, hello, coming from Dee Dee's and Janet's. First time chatting here. Have a lovely Friday. I will be lurking. Need to prepare a homework assignment for a course, for a training course I'm in. Wonderful. Well, thanks, Chris, and thanks for saying hello. I appreciate that. It's nice to have you with us. All right. So I don't want to lose the shape of my little chest here. And, of course, I can always add, you know. I should have gotten a little picture of an owl out, really. I mean, where's my phone? Let's see. Uh, let's do. Let's see what I get. And I'll do images. Let's see if I can find one that's even close to what. We're kind of doing a lot of them are like real, real felted owls. Okay. Look at this. Like, like a real owl. Two purple, one green. Yes, please vote. Can you see all the colors? Here are the colors. You get better at it. You stab yourself maybe a little bit at the beginning, but after a while, you really you, you get better. Okay, so those little guys, those little guys kind of look. Nah, I don't know if I can get them any bit. There we go. They kind of look what I'm going look like what I'm going for. Kind of, sort of, maybe not really, kind of. All right, so I've got a lot of orange there that I didn't cover. So, yep, 
Yeah, my sister uh, and I, we had signed up to take a felting class. It was an hour from me in, in New Jersey. But the girls came over. We were, we well, we were, had planned to have a sleepover and leave for it. Well, my youngest sister got sick, so she was not able to make it. And we were doing a lion on a metal frame. Hey, Jean, good morning. There's the mother of the groom. The mother of the groom is in the house. How did it go, Jean? Everybody looked great in the pictures. All right, so I want to do the bottom. Yeah, he's sitting up pretty nice. All right, probably have a little more, a little more shape here. Okay, take it easy, Jill. Thanks for listening. All right, I don't want that much. I don't think going up the neck there. So I'm going to add a little more here. How's it looking, Barbara? Do we have a consensus of the wings? I need a little bit there too. Okay. And then I have to find my. Okay, so you can fuss around with this, you know, three purple, four green. Anyone else want to get in? Want to get in on this? We got a few more minutes before I have to start winging it. Okay, it's really not what I'm thinking in my mind he's going to look like, but he's looking all right there, right? Why not both lavender and the olive green? <gasps> Joni, there's a thought. All right. And I think I can build this out more, but see, I can always add, right? All right. I must, must have a little sip of water. All right. Before I dig, in, dig out my... So here's what I'm thinking. Let's do olive and green. Uh, olive and green. Oh, my gosh. Lavender and green. And I can um, stack them, right? All right, so it's basically the same idea. I'm going to use this little cookie cutter so I can get my shape well. And all you do is you pull off a piece of your yarn, uh, your, I will call it yarn, your wool. And you're just going to stuff it down in there just going to stuff it and then you're just going to start felting it now this is where it gets tricky as far as hitting your fingers and when you're using the little form like this you want to make sure you get your wool in all the little corners Now, I'm not going to make this too terribly thick because I want to have both of them, okay? Oh, okay, Marty. Thanks for being here. I appreciate it. You have a great day. Judy, Judy, Judy. Hello. Hi, Judy. Okay, so I want to just see. I'm not really up into that point there. Let me see. So then you want to just keep, keep at it. Where's my little? I 
I'm going to add a little bit down into that little that little point there. I'm not getting that point real well, so I want to make sure because I want to get this shape as best you know as I can. So his wings don't, although if his wings look a little wonky, see, um, it's hard because, are you seeing my head? I hope not. I'm having a hard time seeing. Let's go this way. You girls can probably see, see where I'm, oh, and Clint. I'm sorry, Clint. I'm just used to it mostly being girls. I don't mean to exclude you, but it just slips out. I should say gang. All right, let's move this around and get and I'm just going to keep adding this. Now you can add it and then make it as thick as you want. And he might look cute with thick wings. But because I have the idea of having the two wings. I want to try to keep it a little thinner, but I think I'm already past the point of no return as far as thickness. I am a woman. Do -do 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 -do. All right, let's see. Now, I think at this point, oh, that doesn't look so good, does it? I've kind of gone askew there. So now I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to put that aside. See, now I think I felted it down a little too much. See, it's felting to my foam. That ends okay. So let's let's regroup. I'm gonna put it back in the mold. Maybe if I went this way, I could see it better. I'm having a hard time seeing down straight on. That's a little better. Now see, once you do this um, for, hey, Janice Glines, nice to see you. How you doing? Okay, Tina's got to go get the door. And I want to try to get that point a little better. So the one thing I forgot about, because I haven't done this in a while, is uh, it does start to felt to whatever you're working, the surface you're working on. So you really want to pull it up and flip it over. And I'm going to put that back in the form so I can try to get that shape really well. And then once you get it um, where you feel your shape is secure, I think I could take it out and then just keep felting it. And it can be a little wooly, right? Wooly, wooly. Wooly, wooly. This, I'm going to cut this in half to make two wings. Kind of losing my shape there. Oh, Jenna's not having a great day. Hobbling through at work today. Um, hey, oh, sweet Janet. No, no, no. Oh, Janet, Janet. Do you have to work a full day? <clears throat> can you can you scoot out a little early? Oh, 
let's see, Janice Glines, did you see the Seinfeld episode where Elaine sleeping on a guest bed at Jerry's parents? I think I did see that one. But I don't really remember much of the gist of it, actually. But I think I did see it. So you got to really watch what you're doing when you're doing a small. So see, it's starting to get. Now, I could add more to this. <laughs> Joni says, <laughs> I'm missing something. I'm missing something. <laughs> uh, me too. I mean, I remember some of them. I remember certain bits like uh, George's dad, were they in a police station or something? And Elaine says to George's dad, I'll drop you like a bag of dirt, old man, or something like that. <laughs> okay, I remember that. And, of course, the shrinkage one I remember. So you're just going to, I could really use a little bit more in the center there, but. It's really kind of light. Let's just add a little. Let's add a little more. Now I'm going to do a violet or a, a lavender wing as well and put on the top of this. Well, kind of do it individually, not really on top. Yeah, I guess I should start watching them again because I, I get in the rut. Actually, I haven't been watching much. I've been watching um, tutorials um, in the evenings. And then I was there for a while. I was really stuck on Golden Girls. I could probably tell you all those episodes by heart. Of course, I never watch anything while it's popular. I wait till it... It's not popular anymore, and then I watch it. So I'm always out of the loop. Hey, good morning, Peggy. Peggy, are you home or are you still visiting? Oh, at your son's house in Boston. Cool. I guess you're having a great time. When do you head home? Bob Newhart show. I used to like that show too. Yeah. I liked um, Tom, Tom Poston. Was that his name? Oh my gosh. I loved him. We've had some really nice days here, so I would think the weather in Boston has been pretty nice. All right, we're just going to, that's probably fuzzier than, oh, that's okay, Kimberly. Headed home around the 23rd. Oh my gosh, so you're having a great time, a great visit. That's wonderful. So, okay, I'm going to cut that in half. So now let me take a little bit of lavender. Because we voted about the color of the wings. Now you see little bits of wool gets on your surface, whatever you're using to felt into. And... Um, there's probably a better way to clean that off. Oh, yes, Marsha was great. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, Bob knew. I was just going to say that, Janice. Bob uh, Newhart in the Big Bang Theory. Oh, my gosh. Fall is in the air. Yeah, at least, uh, at least it feels like it here. I just shut my slider door because it's so cool right now. All right, let's see. So I'm going to take some of the lavender. It seems like a bit too much to start off with. Just want to get my initial shape. Now these wings are going to be the same size, hopefully. Oh, nice, Peggy. I Peggy, I threw them in the bin. Um, yesterday I had taken some leaves. Look, girls, I bent this needle. And Clint. Look, can you see how I bent it? So I'm going to replace that one. Um, and I paint. I painted them with the clear gesso because I read about doing that. And I was I was expecting them to, you know dry and be nice where I could put them in a journal, but they really didn't get that good. Okay. I don't think I remember the ending. Isn't that terrible? And the little blonde. Remember the little blonde? Okay, so I'm doing the same thing. I'm just filling up the little form, the little cookie cutter, with some wool. It's almost like a stencil. A dryer ball. That's not easy to do, though, because you want it to be so solid the dryer bowl probably takes forever okay now i have to remember to flip it i think that's where i went wrong the first time with the green let's flip this Trying to get my shape and really uh, stabilized here. And then Jen suggested a, uh, a round die cut for the eye part, which is a great idea. But that's going to be risky because, you know, see here with a cookie cutter, I've got a nice little ledge to hold on to. I'm missing that one end. Getting that one end. But you know what? I, know I was thinking today, I keep saying it doesn't have to be perfect. Well, no, it doesn't. But, you know, it would be nice to be nice. Um, Peggy, I'm making an owl. So we did the body with roving and then um, trying to make this guy look like an owl. I don't have a pattern on winging it, air quotes. So the, we couldn't decide on, I couldn't decide on what color for the wings. So the girls took a vote. I gave them some choices and we were kind of even at green and lavender. So we're doing a double wing. Pam, if I have a round cookie cutter, first of all, be too big. I know I don't have a small one. Second of all, I haven't made cookies in so long, honey. 
I couldn't tell you where those cookie cutters are. This I have because I bought a bunch of them for my grands to play with their Play-Doh when they're here. And I put all the ones that Ama wanted to keep for her arts and crafts in my wool bin, which don't ask me why I don't have a round one in there. Well, I think I do have a round one. It's just, it's huge. And uh, my husband, you probably weren't here yet, did something. Yeah, I think the toilet paper roll is, is going to be a little too big as well. He's not, he's not very big. So I'm going to pull out my my die cuts and have at it. Because even this, Peg, I was saying this would be good. But I think even this is, might be a little too big for this guy. Well, maybe not. I might be able to use this. curtain ring yeah these are all great ideas it's just that on a on a um you know uh, a moment's notice oh there Joni that's another idea I don't have a key ring but I have these things this is a binder ring but see there again there's not much to hold on to I think for the safety of my fingers this might be the best idea, you know. Anyway, I'm losing my shape here. Let's try to snug this back in here. And I've, I've got about a half an hour left, so I want to get I want to get moving here. I'm still looking around. I'm looking around and stabbing. Looking around and stabbing. Not a good idea. I had sitting here for the longest time little oh girls washi tape. Girls, Clint. Washi tape. Heavens to Mercatroyd. Yeah. <laughs> Peggy. <laughs> I hear you, girl. I hear you. I didn't have much of one before before the kids were born. I mean, they can be big, right? They can be big and exaggerated. Washi tape for the win. Oh my gosh. I know I have some smaller ones, but I might just have a quick look at my washi tape drawer. Hold, please. Oh, I don't want to trip over the, trip over the big bin of yarn. Oh, I will say yarn. Wool. There's a difference. There's a difference. All right, let's see. I know I have to have something smaller. Hmm. Oh my goodness, some of these are really not very small, aren't they? No, I don't want to waste a lot of time doing this because I'm running out of time. I think that's the best, the best size is what I've got there. Actually, that's too. Ooh, 
That's the best bet. I was just looking at a um bobbin for the sew machine. Those holes are a little too small. Okay, I really want to get the eyes crackalack in here. I just need to felt this a little bit. It's it, the shape is just going to be wonky, guys. He's going to be a wonky owl, which I think might be cute. Wonky owl. A wonky owl will be cute. So we're going to go with this the way it is. I have a hard time leaving it go. I mean, I could stay on as late as I, with my schedule, but I, you know, Lena's coming on after me and I don't want to go into her time. I know, I know it's the internet. Like I got, I get all that. I just, all right. Well, anywho, you get the idea for the most part. So once you felt like this, you really can cut. You can cut your cut it in half. Right? Now we're going to layer. And my purple pieces are bigger than my greens. So I was going to go the opposite way, but I think it might be better to go lavender on the bottom. and the green on top so i'm going to sit this one down a little bit on his uh, side there and i'm just going to felt the top you can kind of bring that in a little bit maybe now this is where you have to be careful because if you're holding it this way your needle really could this piece isn't that big it really could go could go through the hole bird so I'm just felting down that top portion so his wing kind of you know if he wants to flap around he has options okay so then I'm going to take the other one and eyeball it Try to get it about the same spot on this side. Can't really see what I'm doing when I do it that way. So sorry. Peggy's holding her breath. Be very careful, Peggy. <laughs> now we shall take the green and I'm going to layer it right on top, over top of our little. This is a great idea, Joni, to do both colors. Now, of course, you can embellish any of this stuff, right? Like I did with the gnome, you know, I put a sock hat on him. I just hot glued that on. So you could hot glue gl uh, uh, lace on if you wanted to dress it up. You could uh, glue it on. You could stitch it on. You could add stitches. You can add sequins, you know, and all that jazz. We're not going to have time for that today to really, you know, you know, leave those pieces a little fuzzy. And if you don't want him to look too wonky, you know, just try to get his wings in about the same spot. And you just keep stabbing away. And those fibers just are amazing and they just work and interlock. Ah, 
<laughs> Thanks, Barbara. Yeah, the layer of wings are great, Jenny. Really great. Okay. And of course, you know, we should have little feet. I think I still have to get his bottom a little on that one side. Okay, now let's see if I can find a. Oh, you know what? That's what I was going to use. I'm just going to use this because it's here and I think it might be easier. All right, so I'm going to use. Um, I have some tan roving here. Not roving. I am so sorry. Whoa. My goodness. I'm just going to try. See, sometimes it's hard to pull it. It's hard to pull a little bit off. So I'm just going to stuff some down in there. And hope I get a decent circle. Woo! Now, every time I empty a roll of tape, all different sizes, you know what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be sitting that aside to throw it in my wool bin. And of course, we haven't thought about ears. Now, what I was thinking is that I would stitch a button on this and then um, try to attach it. Oh, really, Gail? Oh, a little baby owl. Okay. Now, this I could felt a lot longer for sure. But coming down to the wire, it's really kind of okay. This is going to be dangerous here. I want to try to felt that down this way, get a little better shape. Don't do this at home. I'm going very gently. See, and then I'm just going to felt this to his head, but I better do the other one first. All right, let's see. I didn't measure how much I put in there. Of course, it seems like when you do this, uh, <laughs> Peggy the realist, yes, unless you're his meal or a snack, they're adorbs. If I use the um, die cutter, which, you know, you probably have some really great shapes on die cuts. But if you do that, you may want to tape them down. And um, so you can protect your, your hands because there's really not much to hold on to once you start stabbing. And I'm trying to go a little fast. But like I said earlier, this is not really um, a slow, uh, a fast thing. It's a slow process. Oh my gosh. My mom had worked with a lady who had a dachshund 
her name was Joy, and she was, she was, I mean, no matter how they locked that dog up, she could get her way out. So they had a sofa and then like a baby um, corral type of thing. And Joy got under the couch and chewed her way through the bottom of the couch, through the cushion to try to get out. Well, that looks, that one looks pretty good. Okay, so that didn't take too bad. Too, I mean, too long. Okay, so let's see. He looks more like an owl now. Okay, Joni says, question, could you cut small dots from, th oh, absolutely. Absolutely. You could put on here whatever you want. A true felter, though, would say, eh, I'm sure no, you don't want to do that. I'm thinking I want to put buttons on there for the center of his eyes. But you can do whatever. And I'm just trying to... Really coming down the home stretch here. Now I'm trying to go just in the center. Yeah, some people, they just need to leave nature things to be nature things all right so i think i have his tummy so orange let's see if i can find uh... oh. <laughs> i'm looking for a gold a little bit of gold a little bit of gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Needs a quick beak. 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 Okay, Aunt Beck. Have a great day. Glad you're starting to feel better. Thank you. All right, so I'm going to take my cookie cutter, my diamond shape, and I'm going to try to stuff all this down to the one end. Now, as you can see, it takes a while to even do just a little simple owl, okay? And I'm really, really pushing the envelope here. Now I put a lot of wool in there, try to make this more of a chubby, thick piece. Actually, I thought this would felt down a little quicker than what it is. To tell you the truth. But if he's going to be like a whimsy, funky, wonky owl, the bigger beak will be fine. And you could dress him up. You could put sequins, you know, or stuff on his tummy. You could do some slow stitching on him, right? Okay, I think this might just about be ready. Let's see if I can get this on his little face.
trying to felt down that edge a little bit there, make that a little flatter. And don't forget to keep flipping. I'm leaving his beak a little fuzzy too. Fuzzy wuzzy. Okay, so I want his beak to be kind of three, like, you know, you can make the flat one. But I want his beak to be a little fuzzy. In hindsight, I probably should have done the beak first. So I'm just going to start, if I can, it's really thick. Let me cut some of this off. Where's my skizzers? My skizzers. Let's see, let's trim a little bit of that. I'm kind of nestling it up in there between his eyes, right between his eyes. That's really thick and because oh you know what I think that I think that needle is broken that's why I'm having a hard time with it yet oh there we go I don't know why I guess I didn't realize that one broke okay now I'm giving them a nose job <laughs> eh. So I'm just going in the side and trying to attach the nose. And like I said, you could really take the time and get a nice beak shape. But I don't have that luxury. And someone mentioned, was it Jen? Maybe some hairy eyebrows, which would really look cute, but ain't going to happen today. I got about four minutes. Okay, so a reminder, I will not be streaming on Sunday. I will be visiting my mama. And uh, I may pop on, you know, later Sunday. If I get home in the afternoon or late, late Sunday night, or I might pop on sometime Tuesday. I might do a pop on. I might do a pop on. Yes. Keep the operating room quiet, please. I'm doing a news job. Now, to keep it all in true felting, I was going to put buttons. But let's just grab, I have a little bit of dark blue. Because I don't know where my black is. Is there any black in here? This bag, of course, has no black. And I'm just going to ball this. Make a little tiny little ball. So you don't really need much. <clears throat> Especially when you're doing the little eye surgeries. Now, certainly, you could put a little pearl. You could put a button. You could put a little bit of fabric. You could put, put whatever you have. Or you can felt. And you probably should have some feet too, but we gotta let some things go. Oh, thanks, Janet. Did you have your little cup of tea? All right, where's that other little piece of blue? This one I might need a little more. We'll see. I was afraid without the ears, you wouldn't be able to tell he's an owl, but with the eyes, it's a dead giveaway, right? Oh, 
and an almond biscuit. How lovely. This guy looks like he's needs a pair of spectacles. Maybe needs a visit to Dr. Pimple Popper. That nose is I'm cheating now that I have the nose attached. Felting on I'm trying to get this. Wipe out. Oh look, that looks better. Of course I don't know that he looks like an owl anymore. Kind of looks like a platypus. What do you think? I really like to felt this down a little bit more. Who knows how my mind works? Yes, I don't know. I have wipeout in my mind. I don't know, girls. Is Clint here? Girls and guys. <laughs> Now let's just see. Um, I kind of think maybe I want. He looks like an owl to you. All right, let's see if we can. I'm going to layer this up. I'm just putting a stack. I flattened it out and I'm putting a stack and I'm going to use my eight count needles. See if I can felt this down somewhat quick. So you just want to keep flipping it over. This is going to be a, a shot to just do it once and get the ears to look like ears. Because I'm going to cut it. An L2 pay. <laughs> you could do the, you could do a lot of stuff, right? They would, this would be fun. You get your little shapes together. Get them to a certain point and get together with a gang. Now, see, and you can fold this over, you know. Bring this in and make it thicker. That, that, uh, I think they might need to be replaced. They, they are not going into the foam as easily as this one. So, those needles, somebody was asking about how long they stay sharp. But like I said, I haven't done this in a while. So, I don't know how long I've had them. I'm going to fold that in half. And I'm going to try to cut ear shapes without messing it up and making myself crazy. Well, it's 12.03. There's no one in the place except you and me. A nice little half moon. Now, this is nice and fuzzy. It's not real smooth. Of course, the more you felt it, the smoother it's going to get. So, I want two ears. So, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm a gonna, I'm a gonna fold it like that. And. I think I'm just going to cut, I'm going to cut it in half this away, this away, that away, and I'm just going to cut around the bottom. And because I'm such a nudge, I want to take a little extra 
It's sticking in my fingers now. Sticking to my fingers now, like breathing out and breathing in. I want it to be a little fuzzier. Gail, you're leaving. Bye, Gail. Have a good afternoon. I just want to put a little, I don't want that real pointy, pointy look. I don't know why, I just don't. So, as you can see, it's real easy to add little bits on. Okay. I think these are way too big. Can you really even see it? All right, I'm going to try to get it in there. This is the fiddly part, and I'm trying to attach a small piece of ear. What do you think? Now it could be felted down more. I'm trying to hurry. What, honey? Oh, okay, huh? Oh, okay, great. Hubby's taking a run out. Hey, Ron. Yeah. You're not near a Duncan, are you? No. Okay. We got these coupons, and there's only a little VIP Duncan where you can get a a nice price on a latte. <laughs> oh, we were hoping to do a live play date, weren't we, Janet? Okay, let's see. Let's see. This is the rub right here, gang. Well, well, <laughs> I should have probably made that go up a little higher. Oh, he's look okay. He, he looks okay. He looks okay, I think. My granddaughter's going to want this. I did a little cat. She scoffed that up. What else did I do? Oh, Amma, could I have that? <laughs> of course, my dear. Okay, I'm going to attach it to the back here. It's not felting in. This is where when you're holding on to it, you have to be very careful where you're holding it. Because sometimes I'm not paying attention and I'm holding it and thinking my needle is not going to hit there. And even though those ears look like they were about the same size on his head, they don't. The one looks bigger. It's all right. It's all good. And I could add to that or felt this down. So you can see there's a lot you can do when you're messing around. Just having fun. And there's our little owl. I've got him all crooked and off-scented. 
I might bring a little uh, more, see like what you could do like with the um, gnomes and the gnome beard, like this one you can't really tell because I put the curly stuff on top, but underneath I just have the regular, you know, flat wool, right? So maybe this little guy could take some more of this orange. I pull off a nice piece. Well, that's a little long. See, sometimes it is really hard to pull it apart, girls and boys. And I don't want to cut it. See, I want maybe just to have a little bit of, I could fold it maybe. You know, like make it, make them a little hairy there. I'm just not liking the flat, flat front. Of course you could put a little button there. You could put a little um, heart. You could felt a heart. You could do a little, get your nose out of the way. A little um, slow stitch heart felt a little whatever put on the front or you could just give them a little fluff to add a little more texture okay barbara love you too have a great day all right sew a branch to the bottom up for a perch that's an idea too see the ideas are endless gang this was fun i haven't done this in a long time so there's my little owl all right i gotta cut out uh lena should be on i don't know if anybody saw her um you know little notification that she's on but she should be on and uh later this no what's today friday yes murray's on this evening Oh, you're welcome, Chris. I'm so glad you were here and said hello. It was nice to meet you. And no stream for me on Sunday. And Murray is on later. Barb Owen is on at 2. Lena should be on now. Um, tomorrow is Saturday morning. So Carol, the birthday, birthday girl, should be on uh, in the morning. Right? And I, I don't know if PM studios is on i think they might be as well just have a great day okay and um janice you'll be in my thoughts chin up my dear we love you all right and um like i said if anybody wants me to pray for them or anything in particular private message me and i will be happy to do that all right have a great day and as i like to say Take time to be creative and enjoy the journey. And I'll see you next time. Bye, girls. Bye, Clint. Have a great day.